It moves a lot. Holy buckets. Short people can drive trucks. Too bad we didn't have some chicken. Hey everybody, Chris, Zach, and Kang with Legendary Customs out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Last week, we've been doing wiring, excitement at its best. Today, turned over the engine and it actually spun. Isn't it amazing that good things happen? Fuel pump is working. We're gonna go get some fuel put in and there might be a possibility it might run today or tomorrow. Blinkers work, headlights work. So the checklist is being done. And we did decide at Kang and Zach's recommendation to move the computer inside, which was a great thing to do. Cleans up under the hood. But to make that work, we have to do a center console, which was not in the plan. So to do a center console, basically start with cardboard. And measure, measure, measure. And I didn't bore you guys with it all because Quite honestly, it's not a fun thing to watch. But you just follow the metal that's in there. This will go all the way back to the firewall. This is the tunnel for the transmission, and then this is the floor. So this just basically will sit in here, and that's gonna be one side. We're gonna make it out of steel. So it's gonna go from the seat all the way up. We'll probably have a couple cup holders and probably a cubby in here haven't decided that yet to put stuff but that is as far as we are right now so this would be the left and the right side make that out of steel like i said and then the top we'll make that out of steel it'll hide everything good to go Okay, I'm gonna jump in and there should be a, where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> All right, so we have the sides, put the seat in. Now I'm gonna make it so it goes underneath the seat. So when the seat slides forward and backwards, the center console just doesn't end. So I think this would be a better touch for a finished product. Four inches. It's a little over four inches, four and a half inches. Let me see here. So that, sit there. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Kang. Yep. It moves a lot. Holy buckets. Short people can drive trucks. So this is a firewall. Transmission tunnel. This is just under the seat, all the way in the back position. And when you slide it forward, this is about three quarters of an inches in front of the seat all the way forward. So we'll cut it here. And we'll cut it here. And that's the basic shape of our console. So it's all the way back, this area right here, you will see it, so we'll probably curve it just to give it a radius there. So you won't look down and you won't see carpet. You'll still see center console. All right, basic shape done. Now we gotta make it out of steel. Now we have to take a straight stop and make it curve like this. So what we have to do is make cuts in this. And I'm gonna go every half inch full radius, which is 10 inches. And then 
will be able to bend it. There is not, it doesn't have to be precise, you just have to give it relief areas to open up when you want it to go around the corner. Okay, so you have the relief cuts. Now, we want that to be bent like that. So take the object that you got the circle from. Oh, it's gonna be a bit. So we want the back to follow that, so we're getting closer. One step down. Now we're going to cut this here at a 90. Take a pie out of that. Bend it down. To, bend it down to a 90, and take it and do a reverse relief again, and bring it out there. So then this whole side will be one piece, and then we'll weld a piece on the top. And remember when you're building your center console that stuff is going on top of this so you have to have clearance for all the material that you add so if you add 16th of vinyl or leather a quarter of foam backing everything that you add on you have to have clearances inside to make sure that that doesn't interfere with what you're building So what I like to do is right exactly where you want the 90 degrees to be. Mark it. Where that 90 degree is, is where that pie shape should be, right in the center. See, I got to go more to get to 90 degrees. But I didn't cut the pie big enough to actually get that done. So I have to cut a little bit more away. Now this one's going to be bent in the opposite direction, so you don't have to take material away, you just have to cut it so it will bend. And there we go. So that 
is one side of the frame of the center console. Pretty basic, pretty easy, but effective. So what I did is we have these bent identical to one another. But one of them was twisted. So I'm hoping by adding some heat, it will help relax the metal and it'll stay straight like the one that I just cut. The first one just had a little bit of a twist in it. So now we got first section done. If you want to come around to the other side, you can see they're the exact same. Got it marked for the next cut. And of course that's going to go 90 degrees. And then I have it marked for the next cut and that will go back 90 degrees. So again, it doesn't need to be perfect, but the more time that you take on it now, the easier your life will be when you're putting all this together. Because this is just the sides, then we got to make the cross bracing that hooks it all together as a skeleton, and then we have to line it in metal. But you'll see that as we go along. Too bad we didn't have some chicken. Some chicken? Hibachi. Huh? Right and left are done. The heat, pinning them together, got rid of the twist. So now they're good. So now the next step is according to our pattern, we have to do a leg here and the top here. And then that will be the skeleton, the outer edge of what we need. Okay. Eight feet of angle iron is not enough to make a full center console. But we'll find out how much is required after we get this on. To put this together, we have to take out the corner to fit it together. It'll make more sense as soon as I do it. I'll show you. That needs to go like that. And we'll weld it in at 90 degrees. We'll have the other piece, one more piece of the puzzle. So what I did, and I'm going to check the angle here, is we want this arch to stay the same. The only way to make sure it's going to stay the same is to weld the relief cuts. When you weld them, then you can't go anywhere. So before I weld this, make sure it's 90. So I welded up the pie shape and then I put a bridge across that. This is not going anywhere any longer. So I'll grind it off so it's clean. And then we'll do the next one. So, that's what we have, the outline of our center console, one side of the frame. So it goes right up underneath 
the center console. So it'll finish off right underneath the air conditioning vent, come down, and then it has a drop in it. So when the seat goes back and forth, everything clears. But that is our skeleton, if you will, of the center console. I think it's gonna work out pretty sweet. That's enough for today. I'm gonna to finish three more welds, put it back on the vise, clamp her together, heat it up, straighten it out, and then tomorrow is another day to finish stuff up. Anyway, appreciate everybody. Chris with Legendary Customs, where we take something ordinary and make it legendary. Appreciate you joining us. See you tomorrow to finish this off.